So what am I gonna moan about today? I'm gonna moan about Lauren Koscielny. I represent my fucking self. How we doing guys? Welcome to DT's Daily, that's right. Because breaking in the last 20 minutes or so is the news that he has refused to travel with Arsenal on their pre-season tour of America. Now the club have released a statement and they have said that um, they are disappointed with his actions and that they go against their wishes. And um, it's very clear that this is going to get very messy because it's been evident over the last few weeks that Lauren Koscielny is going to be leaving and that Arsenal are trying to sell him. And there's been reports also recently saying that Lauren Koscielny wants the club to terminate his contract by mutual consent. Arsenal don't want to do that. They want to try and get a little bit of money for him. And with the shortage of defenders and the problems that we have at the moment, it's something that I agree with. But this seems to me like an action by Koscielny to try and force the club's hand to maybe push himself out of the door. Well, I'm sorry, it doesn't work like that. You are an employee of Arsenal Football Club. You have a contract with Arsenal Football Club. You are paid by Arsenal Football Club. So when there's pre-season tours and matches, etc., you have to go. That is what you are contractually obliged to do. And you are breaching that contract right now. Take the captaincy off him and get him out of the door is what I say. May have been a great servant and done some great things for the club. But if this is the way you want it to end, I'm sorry, it's not a good look. If we can get some money for him, then get money. But if we can't, let him rot in the reserves. I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. We should not be letting no player dictate what he does and does not do at this club. Stand firm and deal with it properly. That's what I'm going to moan about today. So what is going on in terms of transfers? Well, Barcelona, they look like they were going to try and sign Neymar back from PSG. But Real Madrid have apparently entered the race and said that they will match Barcelona. That will be one hell of a head-to-head. -head. Barcelona and Real Madrid going head-to-head -head for the signing of Neymar. If their rivalries were not bad enough already. Um, Newcastle, they are looking for a new manager and Sam Allardyce has confirmed he's turned down the opportunity of going back there. And there's reports stating that Steve Bruce is in line to go and take over at Newcastle. I don't know how Newcastle fans feel about that, but I can imagine they're not too happy. Um, Romelu Lukaku, he looks like he may well be on his way out of Manchester United. Inter Milan are the team that are interested and they've put together a package which starts off with a loan with an obligation to buy. And then there's payment structured over the following three seasons, etc, etc. Remains to be seen whether Manchester United will accept that offer. I suppose if they're going to let Lukaku go, they will let him go for an outright fee. Um, how much will that fee be? Certainly not anywhere near the kind of money that they paid for him. His time at Manchester United has not gone down well. And I feel that he needs to get away from there and restart his career somewhere else. So we'll wait and see, though. That's all the news there is today. They don't know about this guy. What the hell? Show me something. What was that? It's out. We're more players there. I'm calling you out. Things you do for the team, mate. 